Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Raging Cajuns have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. I will see you at halftime. French Quarter, the site for our football contest today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Tulane is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. And he's tackled at the 26. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Bring him down right around the 34. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Tackle made at about the 49. Good, solid running right there. Getting past a defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. From their own 48-yard line, second down. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Number 89 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Almost intercepted. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. That makes it 37. Gains his way to the 39-yard line.
from their own 39 yard line. First down. immediately tackled. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. They try running left. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. to him before he could get back to the line. No game. That'll bring up second and 11. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That brings up third and 14. They'll line it up again on third down. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. He goes out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Fourth down. come the ball pops free scoops it out that's a big break for this defense you know this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug they need to hold on to the football this is a fun game and i think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over to scramble but he's sacked the protection broke down the defense was in the backfield in a hurry and they brought the quarterback down nice play they come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack five wide Lead across the middle, and he's level at the 43 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. That makes it fourth and four. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he muffed it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. for a loss. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 25. Four down, four down. Key 15, key 15. And he throws it away. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at around the 50. First down. He's on the run. And he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. We played one quarter. No score here. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 30. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And now he pitches it. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and ten. Ball on the 12. They'll run it. Knocked out of bounds around the eight-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here's play number ten on the drive. seventh Smith only picks up about a yard there on the draw play nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle it's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy well they'll line it up again on third down two for two so far on this drive even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers Tulane could take the lead with this field goal he gets it up and it is good let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update in the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. The Wildcats strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Cowboys are out front, 21-17. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 32. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Yeah. 
He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 29. That makes it first and 10. He fights forward to about the 26. That'll make it second and seven. Some open field. And he is drilled at the 14 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Hey, we got to get the stop here, Let's go. Right. Never had. Nice move, and he scores. as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. Man, do they look good now. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 69-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Throws it deep. That close to being intercepted. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. It's third and ten. Ball on the 30. He's got all day. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Stokes is back awaiting the punt. Stokes fields it for 39. Tackle made at the 43. The Raging Cajun staff right now has got to be smiling because what they're putting out on the field is working against this defense. It's been a fun battle between this defense and this offense. We thought the quarterback might be the one to be able to make some big plays today, but up to this point, it's been the running game. Louisiana Lafayette is up by four. He's got it out to his tight end. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Game of 17 on the play. First down. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Caught open field. Inside the 10, and they push him out at the 9. Gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Show some moves and he's in. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And 
he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Wildcats enter today's game ranked second in the nation and knowing that they have a target on their back. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Kansas State, they're looking to rip off their 11th straight victory. The Wildcats have the lead 24-21. 14-3 game here, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Focus, defense, focus. Hey, check mark 39. Check mark 39. Throws complete. Big loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Hey, check mark 39. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Makes it out to about the 33. First and 10, ball on their own 33. in and hit immediately for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 28-yard line, second down in the shotgun and five wideouts. Ready? gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll line it up again on third down. The Raging Cajuns will use their first time out of the half. Foster gets about a yard on the play. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 49, Adams has been known to be such a great quarterback. But when you sit down with him in person and you look at him, you see that smile, and he just sort of exudes that confidence that you want in a guy that's playing under center. We saw that this week. Absolutely, Brad. I can remember earlier this week when he walked out of our meeting, I looked over at you, and we just kind of, kind of nodded our heads in agreement that this kid kind of has that it factor that you look for from quarterbacks. Obviously, he's very talented. But I think he has the confidence that you're speaking of. And I think he just brings the intangibles to the table. And, and so far, how can you not be impressed with everything that he's done? You know, he's had it in the first half so far. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws out, got his back again. Tackle made at the 40. The Raging Cajuns using their third and final timeout. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Once and all, going deep. He's taken down just outside the goal line. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 14-3, Raging Cajun. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. That you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's really a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm looking at something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Gathered in at the six. And he shoved out of bounds at the 22. The Ragin' Cajuns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's hit immediately. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and 10. And they make the stop at the 42. That's good for me. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Check. High right. High right. High right. Go out there. Check the outs out there. Go down. Go down. Hey, check my 39. Let's go. Round 50. Round 50. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football, but the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's under pressure. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. That's good for a game of 21 yards. First down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. He's tackled right around the 30. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 30-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's flushed, and they got it. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 28-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats take the field as the second-ranked team in the country. Let's take a look at this one again. The Cowboys strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats are out front, 38-31. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you can ever expect that to happen, though. Cleveland has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Smith takes it from the six. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Adams has kept his cool after a bad first half. Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable. And his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. From their own 41-yard line, second down. On the ground with a tailback. Runs right for a nice game. Foster gets six yards on the play. That'll make it third and five.
Looks to the back and can't connect. Buster was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Jordan is the punter. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. The Raging Cajuns with an 18-point cushion. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He lost the ball, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll make it third and one. He's got an opening. Gets to around the 42. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And they'll get him in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. All on their own 40. Rose and a man wide open, and he missed it. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down in the open field. Brown brings his end at the 49 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. On the ground, up the middle. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires out to his wideout. He goes out of bounds at the 40-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Caught out of the open. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready! And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Second and ten. Right, 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 right. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. On the throw, incomplete pass. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. It's on the ground. It's recovered. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop right around the 34. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Makes it out to about the 43. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. And he's level at the 43. to the tailback and they hit him in the backfield that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 21-3 Louisiana Lafayette That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.